Hi, welcome to Opsimex Spinnaker training series. In this video, we're going to see uh, how to uh, use the already integrated AWS and S3 uh, information and we're going to create uh, an AMI image using uh, Rosco and then we will deploy an application which is a demo application which we already copied and synced in our object S3 and uh, we're going to integrate and orchestrate it in, in a pipeline from Spinnaker. So, um, so for that, uh, we should have something called uh, Rosco settings. So what I have done is I've already uh, copied some of the nodes for you guys to make it easy. The same nodes will be available in the Git repository. You can use it. So first we have to do is we have to copy the basic uh, base rosco.yaml file under your HAL default profiles and uh, which I've already done it. So let me log into the machine. Okay, let me log into the Spinnaker machine and uh, let me open that file this is the file okay so once you copied and paste uh, copy the rasco file to the default profiles you open edit it and you have to change uh, some parameters and the first parameter you're going to change is config directory it should be changed to opt rasco config baker which i had already mentioned here and the second thing is you have to add the debian repository so uh, scroll down and in the line number 21 you can see the Debian repository so I've added the Debian repository uh, colon space HTTP S3 and the Spinnaker tutorial if you see this one it is sim uh, somewhat familiar name because this is the same S3 bucket we had created in my previous video so go to Amazon S3 and uh, you can find the Spinnaker reference tutorial uh, S3 bucket and inside that there are already objects and this object is already having it node uh, application which is an uh, debian based application and uh, in in this video we're going to deploy an ami image and top of ami it this uh, application will be installed so this is the uh, uh, goal of this uh, video and the next thing uh, if you notice the default cloud provider type is aws so just in case in your environment if you want to have instead of aws to google cloud or alibaba cloud you can change this and the third uh, parameter you're going to change is enable the AWS by default enable uh, colon will be uh, some somewhat enable equal to true you have to edit this to enable colon true and then if you scroll down you have an option called base image so I have given this information on the notes notes section so this is the information which you need to feed in or uh, if as per your uh, image type you can change it since it's in a Xenial based uh, application so I'm using the Xenial uh, image and to find the images where exactly uh, all the Amazon images are there, uh, you can simply uh, go to a uh, website called cloud-images.ubuntu.com, locator slash EC2, or in a Google, you can search for uh, Amazon EC2 image locator. You can find this page. And for each Amazon location, you have a different image. Uh, in our case, we are using US East 1. So if you search for US East 1, you can find US East 1, Xenial, uh, Trusty, and Precise, and all other images. And according to your instance type, you can have the Amazon AMI ID. In this case, I'm going to use the Amazon uh, AMI ID, ends with FFC. So uh, you can change that to uh, FF FFC image, which I have uh, added the entry at the last line of this uh, AWS stuff. So there you go. Here I've added FFC image. The same details I am going to give it in the GitHub uh, notes section. So maybe for the future reference, you can go and have it, have a look at that. So I'll show you that as well. So go to your uh, Opsimex uh, Spinnaker tutorial under that notes, Rosco text, you'll have this information. Okay, so once this changes is done, uh, save your file and uh, run the command called hal deploy apply sudo hal deploy apply and then once it is done uh, your your spinnaker service will be restarted and all the changes whichever you made will be reflected in the spinnaker service which i had already done i'm not going to do the hal deploy apply now so once it is done navigate to your spinnaker infra uh, uh, console and uh, go to application and you're going to create a new application so create a new application and the application name is let's say demo app and you're going to give a name demo at demo.com and the application which we're gonna uh, deploy is gonna listen on 3000 port create 
this should uh, create a pipeline like a demo app and inside that navigate to load balancer so first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a load balancer here so click on create load balancer and this is going to be application level load balancer which is alb click that load balancer and if you see here you can see the account whichever we added in my previous video is reflecting over here and the region also reflecting over here and uh, if you see the vpc subnet is public subnet if you are uh, having a as per your environment if your subnet wants to differ you can change it so i'm gonna do a public segment and you definitely need a firewall so i'm gonna use the already created firewall or if you can have your own firewall you can have it so in my case it is a spinnaker and packer these are the firewalls uh, i'm gonna use it for this demo purpose okay it's um, 18 so these are the two firewalls I'm going to use and uh, by default the port is on 3000 and uh, it's going to health check is going to perform on the entire root directory and after this everything is done you have to click and uh, create alright so once you click the create button the load balancer is creating right now yeah uh, the demo app target uh, uh, load balance is created so now next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the pipeline so click pipeline and configure new pipeline and uh, demo app is the pipeline name I'm going to give click create and uh, first stage will be a uh, big stage and uh, this is not dependent on any so we're going to use the region as uh, US East one region and the base OS is Xeniel, which I given in the Roscoe file. So you select that file and the VM type is HVM. Save the changes. So and then we're going to create a uh, new stage after the big. It is deploy stage. Yes, we're going to deploy it. And uh, we have to enter the add uh, details about the deploy configuration. So click on add server group. It'll list you all the details. So uh, the account region and the subnet, whichever we're gonna use it. And uh, strategy, I'm gonna use Highlander for this. But uh, same way, it, there are multiple, like uh, you have strategies like red, blue, black, uh, and uh, monitoring deploy. There are multiple strategies we have. But for a demo, I'm gonna use Highlander. So yeah. And you can have a load balancer target group, which we created, which is demo uh, app target group. That is the load balancer which you had created. And you can have a firewall as well for this so which uh, i'm gonna create it already this firewall and select micro utility and nano because it's a very small instance is fine and um, yeah uh, go through here cooldown is seconds ec2 cell check type uh, and a key pal so i've already created a key uh, key pair for this so uh, spinnaker iphone test is the key pair i'm gonna use and uh, that's it so these are the basic parameters you required click on add this will uh, add the details about it and save the changes so once it is saved go to your pipeline and you can start the execution manually and click on run so this will start executing your uh, stuff and click on this first job and you can see the bakery images so it is trying to pull the uh, Amazon uh, AMI image, Xeniel, and then it, it would take some time initially, like maybe five, 10 minutes. So accordingly, like I'm gonna pass the video and I'll uh, resume it once the de uh, deployment is completed. All right, uh, so the image has been baking completed, uh, as you can see here. And uh, if you go to uh, Amazon S3 uh, in your machine, and uh, you can find the newly launched instance which is running already so by this way uh, you can integrate your uh, packer called uh, roscoe and then you can have a baking deployment and you can uh, deploy your application all in single pipeline with this i'm going to end this demo see you in the next video thank you